hearts are beating. Each of these puppies is up it's for okay. adoption, okay. and we're hoping to find them forever Take homes. I know we can do this today. This will be easy, right? Yes. To get these oh, little guys home. Look at these cute little guys. Yeah, right. Clear the Shelters is an annual nationwide pet adoption campaign spearheaded by Thank local you, NBC and Telemundo stations. And since it started, get this, in 2015, it's helped about 800,000 pets find new That's homes. That's so awesome. We're going to introduce you to these puppies in just a moment, but first, expert dog trainer Tom Davis okay. has some adoption tips and tricks. Tom, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? So if I'm a family right now, I'm watching, I'm thinking about adopting a pet, what kind yeah. of sort of checklist should I go through about myself and my family and my home before I do it? It's a good question. I think the first thing is, is time. You know, do you have enough time in your family? Does your family have enough time to allocate towards a new dog? I mean, bringing home a new family member, such as a dog, takes lots of responsibility. You gotta think about your travel schedule, too. What, what's your work like? How, how often are you gone? So, uh, what about if you already have a dog at home and you want to adopt a new dog? How do you make sure that that transition goes okay? It's a great question. So when you're transitioning to a new dog, it's one thing as a behavioral standpoint we get a lot is are they going to get along? You want to make, make sure that you take your time. So you want to meet on neutral grounds, slowly start to develop your dog in and just take your time with that gradually. Somewhere like in a park or something. Neutral grounds, okay. you go for a walk down the road, you start gradually going to the front yard and then you can start okay. incrementally yeah, go inside. And yeah. I feel like we we see this a lot, but there are a lot of families around the country where the kids want a dog, right? Yeah. And then the parents get it. What, any advice? Because what happens is sometimes mom and dad end up doing all the work, or they get a dog where the temperament doesn't necessarily fit the family. Yeah. What's your best advice? It's a great question. And that's something that the shelters, unfortunately, have to deal with a lot, is making sure you get the right dog for you and your family. Yeah. Some of these dogs have unfortunately gone through some traumatic Trauma. events. So yeah. yeah, exactly. So they may be fearful. They may be timid. If you have six or seven kids and a revolving door, maybe getting a puppy, yeah. uh, you know, might be a better fit for you and your family. Right, so, okay. you know, Tom, Roscoe here, he's eight Roscoe. years old, but yeah. I love him because he's so chill, you know, he's not crazy. So my question is that yeah. if there's an older dog, it's got a couple miles on it, right? Yeah. You should still adopt it because it could be right, the right temperament oh, for your yeah. family. Absolutely. Actually, older dogs are my favorite because, especially with Roscoe, he's already, he's already house trained. So he's ready oh, to go. Yeah. And, and he's the type of dog that would let go for a walk. He'd also hang it on the couch. He's ready to oh, go. Yeah. So that's Roscoe. Who do I have here? Right, that's Mara right there. So Mara's a purebred Mara? Maltese, and Mara is actually very, very playful, very, very friendly, loves to go on walks, and actually loves to hang out on the couch and cuddle. So you can't really go wrong with that. Best of both worlds. Yeah. And this guy just seems like he wants to oh. snuggle all day long. <laughs> yeah, that's Hershey. This is Hershey. Hershey. Yeah. Perfect name. Yeah, so Hershey's eight weeks old. So Hershey's actually the youngest dog we have out here. And so with a blank slate like Hershey, this dog's ready to go. It's going to be great for an active young family. <laughs> so, wants to play. so yeah, Hershey's a, Hershey's ready to go as a puppy. This okay. guy Loki is so cute and so chill in my arms right here on television. Tell me about Loki. Loki's one year old uh, Yorkie mix. He was rescued from a high kill shelter in a rural shelter. Aww. So he's great with other dogs, as you can see. They're playing around. He's great with kids, and he's a smaller dog, so he would do really well in an environment like the city. He doesn't need a huge backyard like maybe some of the other dogs yeah. do. Yeah, he's great. His temperament's amazing. Yeah, he's he's hanging a, out with they're me. All, they're all amazing. And Tom, you've got a dog with you as well, right? Yeah. This is my buddy Bear. So Bear is actually a medium-sized dog with lots of energy. So Bear's one years old. He's a black lab mix, but he pretty much looks like a black lab to me. I don't know about you guys. Oh, yeah. But Bear is a dog that would do well with an active family. Loves going for hikes. Loves going for walks. This is a dog that will love to play with fetch. So this is a fun dog for those people out there looking for an active dog. How do you know when you get a dog from a shelter if they're up to date with their vaccines and their shots and all, all the stuff that goes into getting a new dog? Well, that's the beauty of the shelter. I mean, these guys volunteer sometimes their whole life to make sure oh. that these guys are well taken care of, don't fall over, I, I, well I'm, taken I'm care fired. of. So, so the shelters and the rescue organizations take care of all of that. So okay. when you're adopting, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And to be honest, a lot of that stuff's already covered as far as expenses go. And Tom, you're a trainer. You get a dog home that's, you know, a few months old. Yeah. The dogs can be trained, right? Even regardless of what they've been through for the Absolutely. until they got to your home. Absolutely. Yeah. So Hershey, for an example, was actually born in the shelter. So this dog was born in the shelter. Mom has actually found a home, but Hershey has six brothers and sisters that actually need a home. So again, as, as a trainer who works with behavior, works with training, this is a dog that's perfect. And Roscoe, he's eight years old, but he's a dog that Roscoe's would also loving. do really well with training. Yes. Can, you, can you train him to babysit children? <laughs> well, I haven't figured that out yet. Yes. I have a newborn myself, so I'll let you know when I yeah, figure right. that so out. So folks want these dogs and others, where do they go? Is there a specific Roscoe, place? Roscoe. Yeah, so the, the shelter information is going to be 
linked up on the on the screen. On yeah. These okay. guys are from the SPCA here locally. All just right, Tom, Tom, thank, thank you, you so much. These are so great dogs. Guys, yeah. check this out. Uh, this year's Clear the Shelters campaign. It's already led to nearly wow. 90,000 adoptions, and we want to keep that number climbing. For more on where to find participating shelters in your area and rescues, head to today.com. All right, I know you want to come home with me. So cute. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.